Hi, fourth grade. Andy Warhol was an artist who believed that people in graphic art or people who design objects for everyday use were just as talented as people who did fine art, who did famous paintings um, that hang in museums, as opposed to Campbell soup cans, which end up inside the grocery store. This was one of Andy Warhol's famous Campbell soup cans. We're gonna use this as inspiration for our art today, and we're going to learn to draw a cylinder, which is what a soup can is, and then you can uh, find a soup can that you have at home or any kind of can if you don't have soup you can use vegetables and you can um, draw um, the soup now I have a Campbell soup can right here today they use photography on it but when Warhol was um, drawing this Campbell soup can um, he uh, they did put the photography on it now he didn't invent the look of the Campbell soup can, he just liked the idea of everyday objects being used in a fine art way. You know, that you would paint something that's an everyday object and hang it on the wall, put it on a t-shirt, put it on a backpack. He liked that whole idea of everyday things being elevated to art. So we're gonna take a piece of white paper and we're going to work on how to draw a cylinder a cylinder is two straight lines, and then the bottom's gonna be curved, and we have an oval at the top. So, I usually like to start with the oval. So, I want the can to be the subject of my picture. So, I'm drawing an oval. Now, when you look at a soup can, um, on the side here, we're look, going to be looking at it this way. We can see part of the oval, but it's pretty shallow. So we're making a shallow oval here. It's like an O that we've stretched out. And you come down and give a little bit of a rim because they make the cans. If you look at a can, you'll see that this part is taller and then this part is sunken down. So you kind of have to have a rim on the top. Okay. Then you come down straight at the sides. Now, the bottom is made just like the top but you're not going to see that. When it sits on a table, it looks as if this is curved a little bit like a smile. So when you draw a cylinder, you have to give it a little bit of a curve at the bottom so it looks round. because your cylinder is round, so it's not gonna look square. It's gonna look curved at the bottom. Now, after you feel like you've got the shape that you want in the pencil, I like to go over it with a Sharpie marker. Now, if I don't have a Sharpie marker, I can just do it darker in the pencil, or I can use a colored pencil, but I'm going to do it with the Sharpie marker. Here's my oval. And here's a lip that I have on the top. If you look <clears throat> at the top of the can, it has a series of rings. I'm not exactly sure how they make that, but 
it definitely has rings that come into the top of the can. And then your sides come down. Okay, that's your can part. And then this part in here is your label. Your label on your can. I'm erasing any pencil marks that I don't want. And I'm going to color my top of my can. with a gray or silver. And that little bottom part there, because a little bit of the can sticks out from where the label is. And then I'm going to uh, decide what can I'm gonna use for, for my um, can good here. Some companies have, you know, signature fonts that they use. Some have pictures, um, different kinds of uh, lettering. Some of them have certain colors. So um, look over your canned goods and see what you can do and see if you can draw um, something that looks like a canned good on your shelf. Okay, um, so good luck and enjoy your project. Bye. Okay, I finished coloring.